Hey, what's going on? Um, I'm creating this video just to show you guys for like beginners on XBMC. That way, uh, you know, if they got the new Minix Neo X5 and they want to try XBMC and they don't know what the heck they're doing, I'm here to help you. So I'm going to create this video. Anyways, let's hop on to it. So once you've gone to uh, www.xbmc.org, you can download the Android APK from there. And usually it's uh, pretty stable. I really have no problems with it. I've tried some other uh, XBMCs from another site, uh, like the XAFs. Um, I'm really not a big fan. Um, it just doesn't suit me. But anyways, um, I always go to XBMC.org to get my uh, XBMC uh, APKs. So anyway, so once you download XPMC, we're going to click it, we're going to open it up, let it load, and I'll show you guys how I got those um, little shortcuts there at the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to show you how to install Fusion. There's already another video out there that shows you how to install Fusion. I'm just going to post another video, plus I'm going to show you how to do maybe a little bit of these shortcuts up here as well. So once you um, open up XPMC for the first time, you're going to go to File Manager. And then on your left-hand side, you're going to scroll down to where it says Add Source. Click Add Source. And that little box that says None, we're going to click it and then type in uh, the URL, which is HTTP. And then semicolon, backslash, backslash. So the semicolon Backslash, backslash, uh, not Q. And then fusion dot XB MC hub dot com. And then what I'm going to do is hit done. And then at the bottom, you see this little box here that says enter a name for the media source. Go ahead and click on that and just type in Fusion. Once you type in Fusion, you're going to hit Done. And then once it's done, let me go ahead and exit out since I already have Fusion set up. On the left-hand side, clear up here on uh, directory root A. At the top, you're going to see Fusion. So that means it's up and running. It's, it's there for you to now dip into those repositories to download um, those zips. So then we're just going to hit the home and then from system let's go to settings scroll down to add-ons and then scroll down to where it says install from zip file and then on your right hand side that little screen pops up or pops out and right there you see you see where it says fusion we'll tap on fusion and scroll up to programs. Well, that's where NaviX is, by the way. That's not what I meant to do, but that's where NaviX is. We'll hit back real quick. Scroll down to video. And then go to the repositories. And there you'll see the zips for like one channel, Ice Films, Movie 2K, Project Free. And go ahead and download whatever zips you, you want. Once you download those zips, let's get out of here. We're going to go back home after you download those zips, and we're going to scroll over to videos. And under video, there's a tab where it says add-ons. We'll click add-ons, and then you'll see the zips that you've downloaded. Now, you know, for, for an example, if you want to watch Ice Films, go ahead and highlight Ice Films and hit OK or... Depending on your remote, I'm not for sure what you're using, but go ahead and click on it. I always do remind me later. Every time I install the download beta containers, it takes forever to load, so I don't even install them. I just say remind me later. And then scroll down, and there's TVs and movies and all that good stuff there. Now I'm just going to back out, and I'm going to show you how to do these little shortcuts right here um, at the bottom. That way it'll... You know, it's it's eye candy, but then again, it's nice to have these little shortcuts so you don't have to go in and out of settings. 
So to add those shortcuts, we're going to go back to System, and then we're going to go to Settings under System, go to Appearance, under Skin, go to Settings, which is right there where it says Settings, scroll down to the bottom where it says Add-on, and then scroll left, and now you see Homepage Videos Submenu, Add-on 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Once you click on add-on one, it's going to bring up those zips that you pulled up. Um, so like the channels, so like one channel, Ice Films, Navi X, whatever. And these are your little shortcuts that go on your home screen. So go ahead and pick your favorite ones that you want, and then add them to your home screen. And then once you pick them, you'll see in yellow where they were added. So then we'll go back home. Scroll over, and boom, there's your little add-ons. Right there, pretty simple, it's easy, um, not too much hassle to go on there. The other thing I wanted to mention too, is say for example we're in a Project Free TV, we'll just go here. We'll go to TV shows, and we're just going to do popular, just so I can show you something. And we're going to let it load as it's loading all the TV shows. All right. So in order to add these to like a favorites, then we don't have to keep going in and out to figure out where your, where your TV show is at. So go ahead and scroll and make sure those are highlighted. You see your cursor here? Put your cursor clear at the bottom of the screen. And then if your controller has like a, a, a D-pad, like a directional pad, Go ahead and with your D-pad, highlight whatever show you want. So say, for instance, you're a big fan of Family Guy, highlight Family Guy, and then with the cursor, those those three little um, vertical dots on your, on your uh, sub-menu clear at the bottom, go ahead and hit those three little dots, and then there is a place where you can add to favorites. For the longest time, it took me forever to figure that out, but I finally figured it out. Heck, you guys probably already know it. I'm just, you know, you guys could know it before I did, but I just figured that out. And then go ahead and add it to favorites. And now, once it's added to favorites, then you can just scroll down to Project Free TV, go to favorites, and then right now I have Cajun Pawn Stars and Pawn Stars, but now your favorites are there. So that way you don't have to keep going in and out through the alphabet or trying to hunt down your favorite show. So that makes it uh, pretty easy. For you to do favorites. Um, other than that, um, that's pretty much just like the basic rundown of uh, XBMC. I showed you guys how to do little shortcuts. I also showed you how you can add your TV shows to a favorites category. Um, but other than that, if you guys have questions or whatnot, feel free to leave comments and I'll try to reply back to you as soon as possible. Enjoy!